Fernando Hoffalena Villanueva Lopez Sr. April 13, 1904 to May 26, 1993, was a Filipino statesman. A member of the influential Lopez family of Iloilo, Lopez served as vice president of the Philippines for three terms, under Elpidio Quirino (1949–1953), for the Liberals and Ferdinand Marcos (1965–1969) and (1969–1972) for the Nationalistas. He was also the chairman of ABS-CBN Corporation from 1986 to his death 1993. Early life and career Lopez was born on April 13, 1904 in Iloilo City, Iloilo to Benito Villanueva Lopez and Presentacion Hopalena. He is the younger brother of Eugenio Villanueva Lopez Sr. The Lopez family was the richest family and most influential in the province. Lopez studied high school at San Juan de Latran College, finishing in 1921. He then studied law in the University of Santo Tomas, earning his Bachelor of Laws degree in 1925. After passing the bar examinations, he did not go into private practice, but helped his older brother manage the family business. In 1945, with no prior political experience, Lopez was picked by President Sergio Osmeña to be mayor of Iloilo City. In 1947, he ran for senator and won the election. Lopez was one of the founders of University of Iloilo and the FEATI University in Manila. The Lopez family also owned the Iloilo Negros Air Express Company, the first Filipino-owned air service, the Iloilo Times, El Tiempo, the Manila Chronicle and ABS-CBN Broadcasting Corporation, LSC, Lopez Sugar Corporation, Bayontel, including Bayan DSL, Skysable, including Skybroadband, Moralca, RLC, Rockwell Land Corporation, Rockwell Center, First Balfour, Inc., Philippine Electric Corporation, Philic, First Electrodynamics Corporation, Fedcor, First Sumidan Circuits, Inc. FSCI, Securities Transfer Services, Inc. STSI, The Medical City, TMC, Bayantrade.com, First Gas Holdings Corporation, Santa Rita, FGP. Corp. San Lorenzo, FG Hydro Power Corporation, Pantabangan Masiwe, FG Bukidnon, Agusan Mini Hydro, Bawang Private Power Corporation, Bawang, Panay Electric Company, Peco, First Philippine Industrial Corporation, the major fuel distributor of Shell and Chevron Cultex in the country, First Philippine Realty Corp., First Philippine Electric Corp., First Philic, First Philic Solar Corporation, First Sumidan Circuits, Inc., FSCI, First Sumidan Realty, Inc., First Philippine Industrial Park. Vice Presidency First term In 1949, he became Vice President under President Elpidio Quirino and concurrently worked as Secretary of Agriculture, serving until 1953. He was then elected once again as Senator, and re-elected in 1959. Second and third term in 1965, he ran with Ferdinand Marcos and won as vice president. He was re-elected in 1969. By the time martial law was declared in 1972, the Lopez family fell out of Marcos' favor and was targeted by the dictatorship because of their denunciations of Marcos' alleged corruption. They were also targeted due to their family's political influence, being members of the entrenched oligarchy. The position of vice president was dissolved, and the Lopez family was stripped of most of its political and economic assets. Later life and death After the removal of Marcos from power in the People Power Revolution of 1986, he became chairman of FHL Investment Corporation and vice chairman of First Philippine Holdings Corporation. He died on May 26, 1993 leaving his wife, Mariquit Javalana with whom he had six children, Yolanda, Fernando Jr., Junji, Alberto, Albertito, Emmanuel, Benito and Mita. References